Welcome to Today Matters, our short devotional on the Word of God. My name is David Schatz. I'm one of the staff pastors here at Skyline, and today I want to bring you change. Now, I know change is hard, and sometimes change is difficult, but I want to give you hope in change. Why? Because there's a God that we can rely on in change. Now, for some of us, change can be exciting. However, for a lot of us, change also is hard. Why? We get into these routines. These routines that keep us on track, but at the same time, we don't want to break that routine. It's like life is good right now. I don't want to change something up. And so change for a lot of us can be hard. So one of the things that I kind of really want to look at today is why can we have hope in change? Well, Ecclesiastes 3.1 tells us there is a time for everything and a season for everything. See, under heaven, there is a time for everything and a season for everything. So if we're in a time of change, right, it's definitely going to be a different season in our life. And for a lot of us, we're definitely in a different season of our lives. I know for me as a parent and having a six-year-old that now has to learn um, from being at home instead of being in a classroom, that's a big change. That's a big change for a six-year-old, but it's also a big change for parents. And so sometimes when we look at change, it's are we prepared for that change? When we look at change this way, can we be better prepared to manage it? And see, as a Christian, we are a little bit better prepared for change. Why? Because God will never change. He is there for us even through the change. Why? Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us this. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord's. Plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. See, he already knows the plans that we have for us. So this change that we're going through or this new season, he already knows about it. Remember, he built what we're in right now, this earth, the skies. He placed the stars, the moon. He never changes. And he knows what he has for us. Not all change is pleasant, but when we're being led to a better place, by someone who loves us, we don't need to fear it. And see, we have that love from God. Why? Because he already has it planned out for us. So if it's already planned out for us, if it's something that God is going to walk through it with us, then we have no reason to fear it at all. The God who never changes is the one we need to trust. And we see this in Malachi 3.6. For I, the Lord, do not change. He puts it right there. For I, the Lord, do not change. And it gets even better in Psalms, right? Yesterday, today, and forever. He is the God who is gracious, merciful, slow to anger, right? And he is steadfast love. Lord is good to all and his mercy is over all that he has made. See, so he's going to be steadfast. He's going to be gracious. He's going to be merciful with us. But at the same time, his love is over all of us. So when we hit these times of change, we can rely on one thing. It's knowing that God never changes. There is a plan during this change. So next time when we have something that changes, and it could be a simple thing in our routine, but the next time we have that simple little change, we can know that he is there for us. No matter what anyone may say, no matter who denies or defies God's word, it remains firmly fixed. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. Matthew 24, 35. Because his word never changes. The plans he has for us does not change. We might change, but the plans that he has for us will never change. There might be little ripples. There might be little things here and there but he is never gonna change. In the end, while change can be hard, we can grow in our faith. When we learn to embrace it, when we can trust God's plan, he transforms each one of us and every day. So as you experience change, we need to stand firm in our faith. So the next time change comes up, grab a hold of faith, grab a hold of God, knowing that this is the season for you. This is the time for you. And if that's today, bring up the faith a little bit more today in your change, because today matters.